Welcome here, signs. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the third week of August um, reading. Um, this reading is coming um, from you um, here um, for the abundance reading for Aquarian, Gemini's, and in and Aquarian, Gemini's, and Libran. All right. So we see um, air sign people expect some unexpected financial uh, stability that is going to be coming in. So money is going to be um, good in this week. Whatever is happening and transpiring, I see uh, the possibility, the ace of autumn, that is a new start is coming up to your financial stability. So I see a windfall of money is going to be coming in um, for some of you and a happy um a happy change in your financial stability so this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so um be aware and align with the energies you um your sign so i see some of you were dealing with some sort of an issue and situation in a corporation institution um it could be um some sort of a situation that was happening in your world we have an end is coming to this so there could have been some issues with a corporation institution issues on the work floor that was creating a lot of problems as we look at the center we see the energy of the coffin the coffin um with the cross is pain um sadness and grief so there was some sort of a pain, sadness and grief situation that was going on in a corporation institution where some of you on the work floor or um, in your companies that were dealing with a lot of issues. Um, this is definitely going to be resolved. People are seeing what was transpiring and happening. Some of you are standing your grounds in order to resolve this sort of a situation. So this is good. I so saw a resolution to some um, issues and situation on the work floor or in your business that was happening and transpiring. I see that um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion was um, causing this uh, problem for you. And I see this resolution is uh, definitely going to be coming up. Then we have in the center the energy of the cross. The energy of the cross is always an end to an issue and a situation. As we look, I see an end is coming up um, with some issues and situations. So we look at the cross and the cross is um, some conflicts that was going on in a corporation institution, legal uh, issues, burdens, um, problems with government and that sort of a thing. It is definitely going to be coming to an end. So let's say that there was sort of a, some form of issues and problems um, with a government institute or organization or with your business or um, that some of you are, were dealing with some issues that was creating a lot of problems, a lot of loss. I see that an end is coming in. So that is going to be good. Some of you um, are dealing um, with some issues that has to do with... Uh, um endings is coming up so contracts might not be um um extended however this is happening and transpire some of you will have some problems with um contracts being ended so the size is about um so um a, a fast ending a fast ending that is coming in so there could have been some sort of issues um, some of you could have had uh, some sort of a problem that was created around you. And um, what is transpiring is that uh, this problems at, at the workplace is being resolved because I see um, some of you um, could have some conflicts. You could have started a job or you were working together with other people. Um, it is about a new start that is going to be coming uh, to an end. It is about a conflict. So some of you could have been um, had an I position or a new position and people are creating some sort of a sadness, some sort of, some cause of a um, problem for you. And I see that this is going to be resolved because people are going to be seen through the illusion that other people was creating. So as we look at the bottom, what we're seeing. So on top, you're seeing that a fast ending is going to be coming in. Okay, a fast ending because whatever the issues and the situation is that is transpiring and affecting your world at the workplace or with your business or issues that has to do with your career and business. I see a fast ending is going to be coming in. It's as if people were blocking 
your materialistic stability people were dealing with some sort of creating some sort of block in your world and the energy of the cross is very important because that is a um, that you're ending, you're, you're, you're de definitely ending secrecy that was happening on the work floor. You're definitely ending group airing that was happening on the work floor and that sort of a thing. Now, when we look at the energy of the cross with the whip, so, um, the energy will cross with the whip. It is a situation where, um, people were having some cause of uh, conflicts uh, and some of you had to learn some hard, um, lessons and with those hard lessons, there was a lot of char um, 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 uh, obstacles, challenges, but you're overcoming this. So it's a week that you're going to be, you air sign people are going to be overcoming a lot of stuff that was happening in your world. It is a week when you guys are going to be realizing, hey, I have been um, thrown to the wolf. I um, was um, having so many obstacles because of other people, um, my colleagues, other people that was creating so many obstacles for me. And now you're getting out of the, this situation and this is going to be good. So a positive alignment of energies is going to be coming in um, in order to facilitate and clear some sort of a situation that was transpired in your world. And this is going to be so good because you are going to be realizing that through the obstacles, the problems and things that people had created around you, you have learned a lesson. It was a hard lesson, but yet still you learn this lesson and you're moving away from this because you um, this lesson is going to be pushing you and showing you that you have the inner strength and you have what it takes in order to create some sort of a stability in your world. And this is going to be good. So a lot of you are going to be ending um, this week with some sort of a lesson. Then we look at the whip and the book. The whip and the book has to do with academical completion. So a lot of you could be finishing off some studies. A lot of you have learned I learned and realized and see the truth of the deceptiveness that was transpiring. Um, some of you are going to be finishing a study with high marks. Some of you could have been doing, um, 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 accomplishing, um, something from a training, a practice. Let's say that you finish your study and you were doing your practice. Um, it, it, you're going to be uh, coming out a huge accomplishment that is going to be happening and transpiring. So that is very good. So the beginning of the week is as if uh, um, whatever the problem is and situation and obstacles that you were dealing with is definitely going to be coming to an end. And as you go to the end of uh, the week, I see a fast ending uh, to some sort of a secrecy that was going on in a company, a corporation or institution. Um, they are going to be finding out that there was some sort of a secrecy um, that was kept where people had done something and was having some sort of a secrecy that is going to be coming really to an end because I see some sort of a court court um room some sort of a court room um something to do with the legalities that is uh, transpiring uh, so it could be some of you that had some legal issues um that was happening and transpiring and i see an end is going to be coming so there could have been a trial there could have been some legal issues that is going to be happening and coming up and it has to do with uh cancer whoever this cancer is and whatever it was transpiring some of you were dealing with a cancer this cancer could have created a whole lot of issue and whatever is transpiring they're seeing the truth that a cancer has created this issue so what is transpiring and is happening i see cancers having a lot of eagle legal issues whoever this cancer is and whatever this cancer had done the, the this cancer had created a lot of legal issues for some of you and i see that there is going to be some form of transition that is going to be coming up so it could be coming to an end where you're getting out of it because they realize that um this cancer have, have created all of this and they are going to be really taking down this cancer for what this cancer have done 
it is uh, some sort of a um, it could be your manager because it's coming up as a teacher or a professor that some of you were having some issues with. Um, but teachers and professor are, um, opposite is uh, um, um, supervisors, um, managers and that sort of a thing. And I see that they're going to be taking down this person. So it could have been an old boss. It could have been an old supervisor. It could have been an old manager. Whoever this person is and whatever that they have created and they are going to, people are going to be finding out and seeing that this person has used their powers and overused their powers. And they are going to be making sure that whatever this person has done and however they have overused their powers, that um, they're going to be ending um, this um, secrecy that this person has created. Some of you were dealing with uh, um, definitely... Um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person. Now, this person was between the ages of 18 and 45. Whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, I see an end is coming up for this person. An end is coming and their contract is going to be cancelled for some of them. Um, some of them, I see some cancellation with some situation in a corporation institution. Okay, so um, you could have been brought, um, this person could have created some sort of a obstacles for you and created a whole lot of issues for you and it's as if in this week the universe is coming in and they're saying no this person has to pay for their karma so be aware of this because um this is uh, the center of the week with whatever conflicts that was going on whatever issues that was going on a fast end is going to be coming in and it's going to be coming in so directly um where people um, this person is not really seeing what is happening until it hit them. So if you are a cross watcher and always go and cross watch, see who this person is because this person is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Go cross watch, um, check out their readings to see exactly what is coming up for them and how is it going to affect you. So this person could have been a teacher or a professor or this person could have been a manager an old manager, a supervisor, it could be a whole co-worker, or it could just be someone who have created some sort of obstacles for you in your work and career and for your flow of um, your financial flow. And whatever is transpiring, you're seeing that this young person, an end is coming to this young person because they are seeing what this young person had created and what this young person is capable of, how they have used their powers in the wrong way and they're going to be resolving this. So new um, inflow of financial is going to be coming in for you hair sign people, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, and also a new relationships is going to be coming in. So it's as if another co-worker could have seen what this um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion co-worker has done and is helping you to get out of the situation. So um, if you're looking for a job, I see opportunities, doors is going to be opening for you. I see compassion, um, people with compassion is going to be coming at you. You can share um, your concern with others and they are going to be helping you out in this week. So it is a really positive alignment of energy. Use the energy, connect with people who will help you to resolve certain issues. I see people are going to be coming in and see that people have just created some sort of a falseness around you and they're going to be helping you to resolve it. I am asking you guys to cross watch, go and see who this person is as a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. So cross watch their readings. And I'm asking each and every one of you, remember to touch the subscription button. Please like and share these videos. Go back and look at last week, the week before that to see what has been transpiring because sometimes the energy of this week will come in three weeks to, um, um, after and you can go in and check um, three weeks ago to see what was happening. Crosswatch is very important. Share, share, share these videos. I will speak to you next week.